test your knowledge, different database views. Now, the following five questions relate to the use of different database views within database management software as a part of the Information Systems and Databases unit of the IPT course. Now, basically, here are the five questions here that we'll be using as our review. So firstly, question one, what is the initial database view created when making a database? Question two, which database view is optimum for entering data and viewing single records? Question three, explain the difference between the two types of database queries. Question four, outline the keywords used in SQL. And question five, explain the purpose of creating reports. Now, I encourage you to pause the video at this point, and at one minute, we will start answering these questions. Now, before we start answering these questions, let's do a quick review of the different database views. So, we have a form, okay, which gives us text boxes and labels in different areas, which is used for entering in single database records, okay, it obviously gives us one record per interface, and we can enter in all the data related to that record in the form view, which is what it's optimum for. We have SQL, which is used for running database queries. Here we use the different keywords, select from, where, and order by, in order to create our queries. And then we can also do queries using QBE, which is an interface provided through the database management software, which also does queries. Okay, and in, in that one, it actually sets it up so you can actually type in your actual query into certain boxes, and it runs it automatically, so it's a lot easier. We have a database table, which is obviously the initial view that which databases are created in. Okay, it displays all our records line by line. It's very congested, but shows all our records within the database, okay, all at once. And then we have a database report, which is a formatted view of looking at our data. It can be used to represent an entire database table, or it could be used to represent the results of a database query. Okay, so basically it's formatted and we can have whatever records we want in there. Okay, and it's good for displaying data, whether it be on screen or printed off. So let's now answer our questions. So what is the initial database view created when making a database? So that is a database table. When we first create our database, we're presented with the big grid. We can start typing records straight into this database table, though it is very congested and tightly packed. And it's not the best way to enter in um, data into a database, which leads us to question two, which database view is optimum for entering data and viewing single records? That is a database form. Okay, as we could see, it had text boxes set up to enter in all the different uh, fields in our record, and we can put data in quite clearly. And if we did want to do a search of a specific record and wanted that record displayed clearly on its own, a form is the best way to go in reviewing it in that view. Question three, explain the difference between the two types of queries. Essentially, they were SQL and QBE. SQL uses uh, the specific syntax okay in order to conduct its searches so it made use of the keywords of select which represents the fields from which represents the tables being used in the search where is the condition that the search is being based on so maybe all um, surnames that start with a and then order by okay ascending in alphabetical order or descending reverse alphabetical order Okay, this differs to QBE, which is query by example, in which the database management system software provides an interface for running searches and it does it pretty automated. You don't have to enter in any code. You just have to pretty much type in a search criteria and the DBMS does the search itself. Outline the keywords used for SQL. So as just mentioned then, okay, it makes use of select, okay, the fields, okay, that are gonna be included in the search. So it might be ID, first name, last name and age. Okay, they are all fields, okay, that can be contained within a database record. And then you say the specific table, so if it's a situation like school, it may be students, teachers, and classroom are the tables we're going to be using in order to do our search. So we're going to say the specific tables where our entities will be being pulled from. Where is the condition? So as mentioned before, it might be last names that start with A, okay, and then order by, whether it's alphabetical or not in alphabetical order. And then finally, explain the purpose of creating reports. Okay, and basically a report is a formatted overview of data. It allows for multiple records to be displayed, which could include an entire database or the results of a query. Users are able to modify the layouts of the records, 
okay, within a report to suit the needs, ensure the readability of information, because essentially it's for display and output, can be printed off in a physical format or it can be actually displayed on screen, but we need to make sure at the end of the day it is readable to people, okay, that are going to be using that report. So I hope you answered all these questions correctly and it's given you a good understanding of the different database views and really made you confident answering questions related to this in an exam.